Good morning, everybody. How are you? Happy Monday, Motivation Monday. Coffee with Priscilla number 260. How are you, everybody? So exciting to be here with you on Monday. I missed you last Monday. We were all um, reflecting and um, thinking of Martin Luther King, were we not? Awesome. So today, we're going to look at our I Am card of the week in my amazing I Am, oh, sorry, I Am journal that my friend Wendy Rube um, gifted to me. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it was gone. <laughs> All right. I Am Open. Oh, my goodness. I love this one. I Am Open. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am committed to seeing, hearing, and listening to new adventures, new places, meeting new people, new perspectives, new wisdom, new relationships, and I feel free of expectations. I am open to being guided to rather than forcing things to gain certainty. Open for me means to trust, to have faith, and to grow a belief in myself that I will figure things out along the way, especially when there is uncertainty as to what will come next. Now, Friday, we were um, open to love, right? Now, we are open. I mean, guys, these just always, always, excuse me, come together. They do, and I love it. Ah, I love it, I love it, and I hope you do as well. Okay, let's see what Velma has to say, and then let's chat for just a minute, okay? Hidden treasures in secret places, January 27th. Let's see what we got going on here. God's word says, I wish above all things that you should prosper and be in good health, even as your soul does prosper. There's a difference between surviving and thriving. Just because you have escaped the real traumas of life and are just getting by does not mean you are prospering. I believe that God wants his people to thrive. As you study the word of God and your soul begins to prosper, the rest of your life will follow. Find his promises and claim them as your own. Awesome. Hey, Don. Hey, Mark. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, yes, uh, I, I just started a new training on um, the uh, Louise Hayes uh, company, Hay House. Oh, sorry. I keep, I keep rocking the boat. And one of the things that they mention in there in the beginning is that um, prospering is uh, our gift and we just need to ask for it. And I think the problem with the prosper thing is that um, I, money in general, I don't believe we are properly trained. I, I, I feel as though, you know, I think we have many things that schools eliminate and we find that that causes an issue later and I, I have to agree although <clears throat> I mean I remember in school they taught us how to write a check and have a check checkbook and all that so I never had an issue with that and it's so funny because you know kids nowadays they they aren't taught that and and so they're easily in a state of um, financial woes are they not because they just don't have that but that being said, just knowing that prospering is a gift, we just need to claim it. Just think of that. Uh, meditate on it or whatever it is that you do. How about thinking about prospering five minutes before you go to sleep? Let that be on your mind, a conscious thought, and then let your subconscious do with it what it will. Because as long as you're being true to who you are, right? finding your true destiny, your true passion, then, you know, prospering will be a byproduct, right? Because your subconscious is going to work for you. You don't have to worry about how things work. And the other thing was that they mentioned was being in uh, the state of love. You know, love is my word. <laughs> love is my word, but they have fear and love and if you just put those two feelings in the proper bucket, you'll know exactly um, where something's coming from, right? So if, if you have a thought and it, and it comes from fear, then you know that's not something that you, you want to pursue or that's not accurate or 
you know, that's just not meant to be, right? If, it, if, it, if it's coming from love and it feels good and you're at peace with it, then absolutely that is something you should do. So if you're, you're coming after something or you're trying to make a decision or you're being pushed into something, you know what I'm talking about. You've had that happen to you. I know you have. We all have. You know, somebody's pressuring you into doing something. That's coming from, good morning, Carrie. That's coming from a uh, fear base. It's not meant to be. Fear is not meant to be in your life, period, end of story. So you know that's not a direction you need to go. It's very simple, right? Hard, but simple. Or I'm not sure <laughs> the saying. <laughs> but just try and keep that. Hi, Kim. Just try and keep that in perspective, right? Anytime you're doing something, and I'm experiencing that in my life right now, I have a new th uh, a something that I'm, I'm working on, a project, if you will, and it just all seems right. It's all, I'm, I'm at peace. There's joy. It fits in with who I am, right? So I know I have no doubts. There are no doubts, no doubts whatsoever. I'm not afraid of it not working. I'm not afraid of anything in that regard. So I know it's what's meant to be. So if you could try anytime you have something, a difficult uh question or path or something, try and, and um, put it in that perspective, okay? And let's go back to, whoa, I keep hitting this camera. I don't know why. All right, being open. So I think that this fear and love thing, being open is much easier if we even put that into perspective, right? You just need to always, whenever you're feeling uneasy, or um, anxious about something, is that coming from fear or love? I don't think that's from love. I, I guess sometimes they can sort of intertwine, but I think they can intertwine only because of your own belief system. So here we go, right? Thoughts, are, thoughts turn into things, um, what we think we become, uh, we, we can control what we think. We can. We're the only ones who can. Nobody can tell you what to think. Nobody can. So hold on to that. I remember going through a really difficult time a few years back. And, you know, there were a lot of things in my life that I was not in control of. But I never, ever submitted to letting anybody tell me what I could. At the time, it wasn't, I wasn't thinking what I think. But that's what I meant. <clears throat> But, you know, I was very adamant, this is my life. I choose how my life goes, nobody else. You know, you may be able to tell me what I have to do <clears throat> in a day-to-day -day job to fulfill what you're paying me for, but when it comes to my life, I get to choose. You know, nobody can tell me um, what my heart is. Only I know my heart, right? Only I know, I know my heart. So, let's knock it out of the park this week. Let's be open right? Let's be open and let's prosper. I would love for you to have those words, open, love, prosper. Let's like put those cards down, jot a few notes on that index card of how that makes you feel. When you think of that word, what is, how does it make you feel? And if for some reason you don't like the response of how that makes you feel, let's change it and, and, you know, really charge that feeling with some you know, uh, Mark J likes to say enthusiasm, but you know, emotion, get some emotion behind it because in order to change your thoughts or to um, control what you're, who you are, what you become and all that good stuff, you have to charge it with emotion, your emotion, your true heart, your belief system. It's all about you and what you believe. Okay. Woo. This is going to be an amazing week. I'm so excited to be here with you guys and, um, peace. Go out there, knock it out. And somebody's, somebody's on your heart and mind. Reach out to them. Answer the call. Peace. Love you guys. See you Wednesday. Bye now.